Welcome back to Animal Appreciation. This week we're talking about vultures. I am a very big fan of vultures. I like them quite a lot, and there's some interesting facts about them. In almost every, like almost every vulture species, is a keystone species just because they provide such such essential services to the environment. They are nature's cleanup crew. They don't hunt most of them. Some do occasionally. But most of the time, they scavenge dead animals and clean them up and stop them from sp- spreading diseases because dead bodies. And they often get a very bad rap about them because they're associated with like death, death and dead bodies and like gross. But they're actually very clean and like they're they're not dirty and stinky and gross. Well, they might be stinky, but. <laughs> They provide essential services for everything, and they're very disease resistant. They have super, super like bonkers, crazy stomach acid that can help digest all of that and get rid of all the toxins and microorganisms that normally would not be digestible or like able to be metabolized and would just usually kill other animals. They're very resistant to that because they're specifically designed to eat dead things that would normally make other animals sick. And yeah, and just in general, they're very cool. So let's talk about some interesting species. We've got to start off with our good friend, the turkey vulture, probably the most well-known vulture species, one of the most common ones. It is found all throughout North and South America. I've got quite a few of these guys around where I live. I've seen them quite often, and they're just doing their thing. Love them. Got the hooded vulture, which is found all throughout sub-Saharan Africa. And there's like there's a ton of uh, different species of vultures in Africa. Africa's got a lot of sick vulture species, so this lives around like Niger, Chad, South Sudan, all around there. And um, got the name obviously comes from that hood on him, which I think looks very snazzy. We've got the Cinereus vulture, which is one of the bigger vulture species that lives all throughout um, Europe, the Middle East, and Asia, like down through Mongolia and China. So they're pretty widespread. And like at first class, this glance, this guy does not look very much like a vulture. No like bald head or anything, but they look pretty cool. So this is the Rupel's vulture or Rupel's griffin vulture. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. But this is another African vulture that lives around like Tanzania, Kenya, um, I think Ethiopia, as well as countries like Senegal and um, Gambia. So another African vulture, like I said, there's a lot there. And this one is fun because it is the highest flying vulture. So it's been recorded at the highest altitude of any vulture. And it is one of the highest flying bird species which is pretty neat. Um, I think there's actually a case, unfortunately, of one of these guys getting hit by a plane because it was up so high and unfortunate. But yeah, these are one of the highest flying vultures and I think they're cool. This one is the white rumped vulture because of its white rump, obviously. And this is actually the rarest vulture species in the world. So it lives in South and Southeast Asia, and it is considered to be critically endangered with only about, I think, 6,000 individuals left, which is very unfortunate. I'll probably do an endangered species spotlight about this guy. This is the palm nut vulture. It also lives in Africa, around Kenya, South Africa, etc. And what's interesting about these guys is they actually largely eat nuts and fruit, of the palm trees so they do still like scavenge and they will occasionally hunt but a lot of their diet consists of like the nuts and seeds and whatever from palm trees which is very cool and not what you would expect from a vulture this is the egyptian vulture and i will give you one guess as to where this guy lives Yes, the Egyptian vulture is found in Egypt, but it's also found in other African countries, including Chad and Morocco, as well as some Middle Eastern countries like Pakistan and into Asia as far as India. And fun fact about them, they are one of the few bird species observed to use tools. 
such as like rocks and sticks in order to get food easier. This is the black vulture, which, yup, it sure is. Black vultures have a pretty similar range to turkey vultures and so are found in all around North and South America, but in a bit smaller range, they're not quite as widespread. But these guys do tend to get confused with turkey vultures, but black vultures' heads are black, um, turkey vultures' heads are like that, pinkish. This is the griffin vulture, which is in my opinion one of the most vulture-looking vultures, like, yep, that sure is a vulture. And at this point, vulture has ceased to sound like a real word to me, and it is just, yeah. There are a few different types of griffin vultures, like the Rupel's griffin vulture that I mentioned, but they are pretty widespread, a pretty common vulture to find, but there's a few different types of them that I'm not really going to go into. This is the bearded vulture, which is my favorite type of vulture, and look at him. That's, that's not a bird, that's a fucking dinosaur, even though dinosaurs are birds, or birds are dinosaurs, whatever, but... That's, that's basically a dinosaur, like, look at him. They're just all around pretty badass, but their feathers are actually white. But since they live and bathe in areas that have a lot of mineral deposits like ochre, they actually are stained, like, bright red, which is pretty neat. And they are the only vulture species that are, like, specifically specialized to eat bones. So they prefer, like, to, they just eat bones. They swallow them and digest them, and, like, that's crazy. Most other vulture species just pick at them and, like, eat all the flesh and, like, muscle and stuff, but these guys will just, like, eat bones. That's cr- that- look, it's so cool. This is the- my favorite vulture. This is the Andean condor, which I have done an endangered species spotlight on, but they live in South America, Andes Mountains, around like Argentina and Peru. So go check out the endangered species spotlight video where I talk more about them. This is the California condor, which is found in, guess where, California and um, some other areas in the United States. These guys were almost extinct at one point. There was like very, very few of them, but they're one of the best success stories in conservation, and they're the ones that pretty much everybody knows about. So there was like these massive conservation efforts to bring back the California condor population, and it's working very well. The population is recovering great, and like that's good because they are a keystone species, very important. They're also one of the largest vulture species, that in the Andean condor. So yeah, happy for these guys. Captive breeding worked great and their population looks like it's going to be fine and finally we have the craziest looking vulture the king vulture and like that's a fucking muppet man that's not a vulture that's a muppet these guys mostly live in central and south america like all the way down from mexico to like kind of top bits of south america in the amazon rainforest and such and they're just so colorful they're They're just vibing. I love them. So yeah, show some vultures appreciation because they're very important to the ecosystem. They stop the spread of disease and they're just cool birds.